Yo, so there we got a Mason the Face story and the wooden sword is finally finished. Finally finished! Live every day, baby. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Live every day. What would you say? Day. Every day. Finally got some nice weather here in Tucson. You know, it's cooling down a little bit. Not as many bugs. They're still here. But not as many. You know, what's up? Uh, so I finally got that sword done. It's been a few months. You know, it's just harder to get at work. Dang tools I had were real loud. But anyways, we got it done. We'll have that. And... That's, that's it. Bye. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just chilling. But here, busy. You know, like I said, it's cooling down finally. Shit's chilling. It's finally quiet. You know, gosh. It's been a crazy long summer, man. Very wet, very hot. <laughs> very crazy. Speaking of crazy, the story... My homie, I was talking to one of my homies, and he said, Hey, man, why don't you tell this story on your channel, man? He said, it's freaking hilarious. We'll see if I can make it hilarious. It's about getting jumped. Well, actually getting maced by a bunch of fools. All right. So. This is when I was staying with my homeboy, said it. And, uh, he, uh. I don't know, everybody was gone, so I was at the pad by myself. It was his mom's pad, his pad, and uh, it's rolling about 1.30. I said, shit, man, it's almost 2 o'clock. I gotta go. Shit, I better make the food for that so I can get my fucking smokes and a beer before it's 2. You know what I'm saying? Get me a fucking Cobra or something. <laughs> so... This is on Greenfield, and, man, I can't even remember the name. It's right across the street from Magnolia Elementary, whatever street that is. I forgot the name of it, but it's off Greenfield and that one, uh, El Cajon City. It's the El Cajon City story, and these dudes. Okay, so I'm going not off uh, Greenfield because Magnolia runs off Greenfield. And so, I'm going off the other street that I can't remember the name of, but it goes through the little neighborhood. And I go out that driveway. I'm walking out the driveway, and as soon as I hit the street, I see, like, nine fools spread across the whole street. They're just walking. They're walking this way. They're mobbing this way. And I back up. I'm like, fuck. You know. I was like, oh, shit. Now, fuck that. I got to get my shit. Mind you, at this time. I just came back from Portland, and going to be a punk rock until I die, you know, and I was hella punked out then, man, I had a mohawk, and I had blonde hair on one side, black hair on the other, you know, my punk rock vest, my, my jeep shit with all the patches and shit, and these guys were not punk rockers, most fools in my hood were punk rockers, most fools ain't, but, so... It was a bunch of white and blacks acting like blacks. <laughs> if you hear this live, it might sound a little different that part. Anyways, so I said, "Fuck that! I gotta get my shit." I mean, so hey, and I ain't no bitch. I don't give a fuck. You know, really. I mean, I'm getting to be fuck that. I must have been like 25 or something, 24, something like that, man. And, uh, I ain't scared of me. I've been beat up a lot of times, right? So, I'm walking, and as when I, I'm over all the way to the right of the road, going, you know, the direction the car would be going. And, uh, when I walk by them, I hear, get him, get him, get him. And this fool goes, ha! Ah! Flexes on me. I just look at him, smile, and I just keep walking. You know, and this one fool's all, oh, what? That was his shit. I said, hey, don't trip, homie. It's all good. And I just kept walking. 
And I don't know, he like, or something like, I don't know what the fuck he, like, pulled off or whatever. But anyways, I cut down the next street, the one that goes by Bullwinkle, Rocky and Bullwinkles, and uh, Boomers, and, uh, cause I'm on my way to Food for Less, which is on Valentine, and, uh, I start cutting down that street, and I hear, and I hear shit behind me, and I look back, and I see two fools, and so I'm like, fuck it, dude, I'm getting ready, I'm like, alright, fuck it, you know, and I see, cause one of the, the light-skinned brothers comes running up, and I, I'm, I'm like, whoa, what's up, what's up? And, and this fool sprays me in the face, and I don't realize what it was yet. And I'm like, what the fuck? And I just start running. And I start running, dude. Uh, I can't run that fast. I can't believe I was just like, oh, I must have been real scared because I was running real fast. <laughs> and uh, my big ass, I was moving. Ah, fuck this. Dude, you know, and as soon as I made it to the light, because down Valentine, it's dark up until it gets to Target. You know, right past the fucking, uh, the ditches or whatever. And, um, man, I busted in. And I busted in. I'm like, I just got Mace to the fan. We're in the bathroom. Because I've opened my eyes. It starts burning by, like, halfway to food, food for less. And, uh, man, every time I open my eyes, it hurts. This is the only time I've never been maced by cops. These are the only foods that I've ever been maced by. You know? And, uh. I'm all like, ah, where's the bathroom? I can't see it. Ah, ah. You know, and so, uh, uh, like, I got maced in the face. I can't see where's the bathroom. Do you want us to call the cops? Sure. You know, and I, like, splash, like, got my face in the water. Oh, my God, dude. And it burned, like, for days and days after that, man. The cops were like, do you know who did this? I'm like, no. Yo, you don't know who did this? I'm like, no. It was, uh, white dudes and black dudes, man. Damn. Figure it out. Anyways, that was the story. It was it actually, you know, it's pretty fucking funny. And, dude, like, you forget that you got that shit places and you go use the bathroom and other things start burning. Ow. Anyways. I hope you guys liked the knife. It came out good. It came out okay, you know, for not having a project like that in a while. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hey, labor every day, baby. Like, share, comment, subscribe. If not, you know what to do. I can't believe this thing took three months, but it did. Not straight through, because I went from the day, the evening shift on Saturdays to the morning shift in the middle of this. And 
And that made it difficult because I had to get used to find a time where I can do it. You know. It was pretty straight. Pretty straight on both ends. Oh, damn! <laughs> Got caught out so. Let me find a spike. Show you guys. I break one off. All right. Yeah, be careful because the tang ended up being real thin because I had to reshape the blade. It's been the first time since I did a project like this, so I had to get used to it. Okay. Oops. Oopsie. Ow. Oh shit, it's going into it. Let me go get something else. We bet. All right, hopefully this works better. Much better. It's the pin. And move this down to the bottom. I'll move it back up. Okay. The handle. I put a Z-dub and S-dub because Silvio helped me on the finishing. See, like I said, the tang is thin. I cut these out of a belt because to fill some space. Snugger. I had to tape it because the tank cracked because it was real thin. So, like I said, this is probably the last time. And I think I made this the hibaki a little the wrong way, <laughs> but that's it, baby. It's all the pieces. Bow, 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 bow. The blade, the sheath. Bam. I'm going to sell some other stuff in here that is uh, like old pictures of it. So you see what it used to look like. Live every day, baby. Oh, yeah. Before I go, this thing, the hand uh, blade guard or whatever, I made it out of a door handle that broke. I smashed it in and then I filled it with cement. And this thing I made out of a soda. All this, all this stuff I made out of scrap. Next time, motherfucker, call tone. I said, suck my dick.